All right, this is uh, one dark and two light. City, I wear your dawn song like a second skin made of soot. The notes are rising blue from your deep cellars like exhaust fumes or the fly ash of men's souls. The sky is pinched and blue between your iron fingers, streaked by the tears you make fall. The streets are empty now. Soon they will throb with the sound of your blood, your people. All day it will crescendo and ebb at dusk when another army takes your streets, looting nickels and butts for salvation, scrounging the scarce light from neons. One army is maddened with lust for you, the other fear of you, for you are a goddess, cruel of inhuman wealth and beauty. In winter we shiver while you parade your fat wrap of a million skins. Even in summer you aren't soft, though your tarred skin may pluck at our feet. I know you. I know you would take my Christian name and not give echo. I know you could swallow my soul like water without a bubble rising. With my ear to a traffic light, I can hear your cold heart humming. That, that, that was the dark poem, okay. Uh, light poem. <laughs> watermelon summer, since we're at the end of it. The watermelon hole is carved. Hold on, let me try that one again. The watermelon hole is carved and curved and infinite. Like space, like time, like summer. But once you have it, any way you slice it, it gives a watermelon smile. It divides into days, and there's always another. A watermelon summer, so sweet, you can taste its sky. And none of it is wasted. Rind becomes rainbow, the flesh reddens sunsets, and the seeds can be set into the softest nights, ebony teeth of the sky. Watermelon days, watermelon nights, curved and carved and infinite. <laughs> the last one. Rock on. Language of the moon. The night is expectant. A full moon is rising. Dumb and a little deaf. She doesn't hear the world's guns going off. The gossip of desperate poets or the strategies of madmen. Used to being used, she overlooks all but a single question posed by pines, a reminiscence from the beach. To these, she speaks, a kind of salty speech, to the various oceans, deep Arabic, a tongue that even a young sea knows. She can teach anyone this language who will listen and wants to learn. She is full tonight with patience and for hatred, has no room or even word. Thank you. <laughs>